Hey everyone, Silver Cheesecake, and welcome to Blank Dream. This is an RPG horror game, uh, RPG Maker horror game, excuse me. I'm doing it for my random game of the week because I tried doing two recordings and I wasn't happy with them. First one was Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64, and it cut it out on me, power went out somehow. And it was a good commentary, too, I was rolling through it, but it denied me it, so whatever. And the second one was Pokemon Puzzle League, which I wasn't entirely happy with my performance with that. So now I'm doing Blank Dream. I've seen that a couple of YouTubers have played this already. I haven't watched their play, the gameplays of it, but I really wanted to play it for myself. I love games like Witch's House, Eeb, stuff like that. So I finally got this to work. I had to download the RPG VX Ace RTP thing. Um, this is kind of a dark game from what I understand, so if you're uneasy about topics like suicide and stuff like that, um, this wouldn't be a game to watch. Um, but apparently there are a lot of really good scares in this, so I'm really looking forward to this. I have literally like 20 minutes left to go to work, though. <laughs> I really have to roll through this. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I'd come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed, more or less. And so I, Mishiro Usui, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. Oh boy. Okay, I'm in the lake. Where is this? What was I just... Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Alright, I get to save right off the bat. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna need a... There we go, that's my run button. The mirror shows no reflection. Alright. Don't bong me. Freaking... <laughs> Uh, hi. I have to close you, Skype. Right, let's... I don't know if I need to save again or what. Ooh, oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories. Right. Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now look into the eyes of your reflection. Okay. Okay. This uh, this music's familiar. Is this from Afterlife? I don't remember. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Obviously, you know these tracks and stuff are gonna relate to other games because. I mean, they use similar packages, so... Teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that this bear was very important to her. School bag rests on desk. The girl took it... Or took out a notebook from it. Kikinomiya Academy Class 1-2. Mishiro Usui. Her picture is on the cover. Another mirror. Familiar dresser. The, grass, the girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. Familiar computer. The girl unconsciously went to the power on, but stopped. I never have to worry about that because my computer's always on. Because I'm always on it. Clouds are packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt that she'd like to wear clothes like this. Okay, fair enough. The cabinet's full of accessories. The girl felt that they were all matched her tastes. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. A lot of feelings, I can tell. All open. Yeah. Alright. Let's just try this again. Alright. Oh, okay, there's more stuff. A small knife is in the desk drawer. Felt familiar on the girl's hand. Oh, great. Nothing else. Alright, well. Okay, we're not gonna stab the crap out of the bear, so that's good. What am I gonna stab? Oh. Um. I'd like not to think about it, but. Why not try- what? <sighs> oh, this is not good. Oh my god. Ooh. Talk about a trigger one, jeez. 
Oh. No, I, I gotta give him props for the animation. That was pretty cool. Alright. So was that... Was that like an attempt? The girl came too, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back. How did it feel killing yourself in the mirror? Or maybe it was a contemplation or something. What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Uh... Mishiro Usui, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See? Only partial. But you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world. And then break them. All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors. You'll get back your memories and at the same time grant your wish. Once you break all your mirrors, you have it all back and can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what granting your wish entails. Why is that, you ask? Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. Alright. Why am I walking slowly? I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life would never even existed. Oh. Just as Mishiro regained peace of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Hey. Alright, so we got a door popping up. Alrighty. I gotta keep a careful eye on the time, because I really gotta go to work soon. Where is this? Huh? Are you new here, maybe? Whoa, I picked one heck of a moment to be here. They're like the same thing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I'll bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. Um, it's, it's the same. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's very polite. Wait, you do know your name. That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember our name. Um, who, who cares about you? Why would you ask that? I'm not normally one that picks the mean responses, so... This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife, maybe. So, purgatory. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes? But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't actually remember that wish. You have any ideas, Mishiro? <laughs> Sucks to be you. Jeez. What? You remember your wish? And you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiro. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair even in death. Well, anyway, if you're going to walk around, be careful of this evil spirits walking or running around here, because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. Oh, yes. Evil spirits. Alright. Rum of blood. Bathe in it if you wish and go mad. Oh yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Okay, it's a gold door. Silver, okay. That's a realm of spirits. When the wind sounds, sounds tragedies end and beginning. Yeah, this, is a, this is a dark game, I gotta tell you. Realm of beauty, for whom does the brush dance? Alright, so I gotta find out which one of these I gotta go into. Realm of Greenery, let that meeting be a light of hope. Okay, I can go in freaking witch's house music. No, no, let's not do anything yet. Air shield. Swords and crap. Alright, yeah, look, the freaking tree from witch's house. Alright. Large tree blocks the path. There seems to be no other way ahead. Frickin' I gotta learn cut. Oh, I can. I have the knife. Knife's not gonna, of course. Alright, that's fine. That's what the axe is gonna be for. Yeah, take that. Alright. A, a decorative axe. Well, wait, can I take the real one? No, it's a decorative. Obviously. Frickin' blood! Oh, great. Teddy bear's gonna pop a bat on me. Alright, try it. Alright, screw it then. Man, 
All right, this, this is where it starts getting juicy. I know, I, I skipped that door. Oh. <laughs> All right. Watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? Wait, judge by number. Um, wait. Am I the watchman or am I the fool? I'm um, probably both. Hold on. Okay, that's a decorative shield, and that's a. Okay, wait. Can I put the thingy thing back? No. And there's, there's are nothing. All right. So I, I picked one and whatever. Um, I'm not really having a rhyme or reason as to where I'm going. You hear that crap? What the frick is that? Teddy bears and crap? I don't like that rustling. Alright, I'm not effing with that, that bear. Here's it getting. Oh, it's a freaking fire, okay. Wait, Flint, for it to take the lantern. Yeah, take it. Mm. Okay. Quietly lights up the room. What do you mean, quietly? <laughs> All right. No, don't even look at that crap. Okay. They, they didn't quite get me. I was too busy yelling. Freaking teddy bear. Oh, 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 snap. Did you see that? <laughs> Alright, yeah. Hit me with the save. Woo! Alright. Rolling. Oh, crap. Phone on the floor. Alright. Oh, I should have been charging this thing. That's fine. Let's keep rolling. Alright. Wait, what did I get? Oh, I got a lantern. That's right. Um, okay, no. Wait, can I, can I use it? No, it's probably automatically being used. Oh. Little axe for... <laughs> no, wait, give him the axe. The, the decorative one. Can I do that? This dude's gonna be so pissed off. Just take it. I'm, I'm about to die. Look at, look at him looking at me. He, he knows... He's pissed. Yeah. Alright, um... Oh yeah, put the decorative axe in there. Yeah. Oh! Smart! Good job, Silver. Good job. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Um... Yeah, so we'll save that. Alright, now we can cut this thing down. Too thick to chop down with an axe. What? What do you need to chop it down with? A freaking destructo disc? All right, hold on. Let's see. Can I? Oh boy. All right. Well, that was useless. Where else can I go? Definitely not going in there. Oh, I. Oh. Wait. No. No. I didn't even look at it. Okay. Make sure fumbles with the axe and attempt to, to fell the dead tree. I even fumbled with the axe. Sounds like I'm gonna like have an accident with it. Please let that be the tree. <laughs> uh, what used to be a dead tree? That was no dead tree. That was a freaking alien plant. <laughs> All right, that's fine. So what did I get out of that? Middle, middle. Oh, I got fire with this tree. Right? Don't tell me I have to go back to that that place. Mm, this is so uneasy. Alright, I think I'm good. I think this is it. Oh, okay. That's weird. Too dark to see inside. Oh. Well, I was useless. And too bad I don't have a freaking lantern. Oh, wait. I do. Gosh. Alright, whatever. I don't know, maybe that teddy bear left something. I'm gonna go find out what that was. Uh, there are stairs with round eyes. Keep, 
Bull crap! Firewood. No. Wait, oh, can I burn it? Actually, flame could burn it down. The fire is weak, so it may just go out. You should replace the fire with. Oh! I see. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty fierce. Alright. Thinking outside of the box. Okay, now. Oh, okay. Here's burned down to ashes. No kidding. I don't even see ashes there. Shoot. Alright, let's see what BS is over here. Uh, somebody beat me to the punch there. Oh, okay. Alright, here's a save point. There's another mirror. Alright, should we go here? Let's do it. Mirror shows Mishiro's reflection. Look in, yeah. Let's do it. Six months ago, Mirror Lake. Alright, well actually this looks like a level. Dang, alright, thinking back it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of uh, enjoyment. If you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed, more or less. Mirror Lake, I might as well just test that rumor. Mirror Lake, a lake in a desolate park, about a 20 minute train ride from home. There was no rumor about it, it was said. Hey, nice weather, huh? I'm talking to you, no one else here, is there? Who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. But I noticed you staring at the lake with that hollow look. There's always a chance, so I thought I should call out to you. That's unnecessary, I'm not going to jump in or anything. That's good to hear, but there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just see it as being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, and I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinohara. I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to flirt. Why tell me your name? Are you flirting? <laughs> Shoot. I just said I'm not. Introductions are a first step to breaking down barriers. So what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, shoot. So you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was carrying this clunky easel for show? Not really. Oh well, if you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. What? <laughs> I get absent-minded when I'm painting. But still, it's lonely when no one's around. Any items which Mishiro has in the present, she does not have in the past, and thus cannot use. Makes sense? Alright, I'm actually going to end it in the air. Um, so, yeah, I don't see any save points, so that's okay. I'll just go from the last one. So thank you all for watching. I'm enjoying it so far, definitely. Uh, thank you all for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. And as always, peace! Bye. Bye. Bye.